Welcome to Marketing Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. Join Stacy and learn from her 20 years of experience as she shares top-notch advice on marketing best practices for brands and walks you through how to leverage entertainment content and influencer partnerships to increase your brand's overall consumer engagement and most importantly, your sales. Welcome to another episode of Marketing Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. I'm Stacey Jones, and today I'm going to talk to you about some more ways how tech brands can leverage content marketing to help drive brand awareness and trigger sales. There are, in fact, so many different ways tech brands can use pop culture that I broke this podcast up into two different podcast episodes. In my previous podcast, I talked about how tech brands can use scripted and reality TV shows, talk shows and local news programming, regional and lifestyle shows, game shows, satellite media tours, morning and daytime news, and even feature films to create branded content moments where a very engaged viewer will be in tune with your brand. Today, brands are leveraging pop culture to create major buzz. This includes leveraging influencers who have their own world of engaged followers and content that's now distributed on so many different platforms and channels. Having your brand become embedded and partnered with that content that either influencers are generating, production companies are creating, or that which your brand creates itself are the surefire ways to get noticed. The problem with producing your own content, though, is that you as a brand also have to figure out how to distribute that content once it's been created. And that's not always so easy. That's why so many brands are partnering with influencers, TV shows, feature films, music videos, video games, or events that offer turnkey capabilities. Those third parties build a storyline around your brand, and they bring the audience as well. And what's so great is that branded content partnerships work with any targeted age range, be that Gen Z, Millennials, Gen Xers, or Baby Boomers, and beyond. Product placement works, and it has impacted thousands of brands across dozens of categories over the years. And when you add in messaging and provide a deeper look inside the brand, it can make your sales absolutely soar. And tech brands are a natural fit for content influencer partnerships. So let's dive in and chat more about some of those off-the-beaten-path content partnerships you should really be keeping in mind. The first one we're going to talk about is music videos. Music videos offer one of the fastest content partnership turnarounds out there, and to the biggest audiences as well. What's so incredibly cool with music videos is you can actually get guaranteed seconds of exposure, which no other content platform provides, by the way. With guaranteed logo exposure, tech brands realistically lend themselves to music and typically share a very similar audience with the trendsetters who listen. The artists themselves can also become part of a larger campaign. Our team's done extended campaigns by doing a social media partnership with the artist, getting behind-the-scenes content cut for the brand to share through digital and social platforms, bringing the partnership into retail, running a sweepstakes with concert tickets and -and meet-and-greets, and more, even sponsored concert tours. Another fantastic thing about music videos is that they reach a global audience. You can work with artists and budgets of any size, from emerging to A-listers, and all that lies between. You can also advertise around a music video on Vivo or YouTube with pre-roll ads, creating a more robust partnership your consumer base is sure not to miss. One of the partnerships we did that was really cool was we worked with them to use FLIR, which is a thermal camera technology, throughout the music video. It made a massive impact. And then afterwards, we interviewed the music director so that we could use his interview and show the footage from the music video at different trade show events the client had. We were able to take his testimonial and play it over and over again and bring that message directly to the brand's buyers. A second opportunity is with video games. Video games are not just for kids. In fact, there are a crazy number of millennials, Gen Xers, and yes, even baby boomers who play. Getting your brand into a scene is actually quite realistic for tech brands. And what I love about video games are the extensions that are available through the gaming partner. You have casual computer video games, multiplayer console games, and mobile games, and options for every player out there. Partnership extensions can range from social media content and special downloads that people have to do something with your brand, like check in somehow digitally in order to access an upgrade or more gameplay, to full-blown marketing campaigns that are co-branded and run across all media. And even the game partner may have interest in getting some of your products and doing giveaway contests to their massive list of fans and game users. A third way tech brands can leverage content partnerships is with public relations, digital and print content. I originally wasn't going to chat about PR and the importance of having a PR program in place, 
But after thinking about it, our own agency utilizes PR to a tremendous degree in order to leverage our content marketing, and I want to make sure you do too. Look, it's not exactly easy getting product reviews and becoming the spokesperson for your company that's on a speed dial to chime in on various stories, but it's so worth it. Not only is it something tech investors or execs truly care about, I bet you're actually asked about what's new in the press about your product fairly often. It is a way to validate to them, as well as to potential buyers, that your product is real, it's valuable, and has something unique about it that others should check out. As a fourth option for tech brands to leverage content partnerships, think about celebrity endorsements. There are partnerships with celebrities for social call-outs across their various social platforms, opportunities for celebrities to attend brand events and trade shows, and options for celebrities to become part of a brand's media and advertising plan. Endless options, in fact, where comprehensive campaigns involving the brand's print, TV, and digital media co-branded with a celebrity's likeness can actually be built. We worked with Tyra Banks to do an interview and social media piece for Oppo Mobile Phones during our season-long sponsorship with Oppo and America's Top Model. The entire campaign was incredibly comprehensive. Integrations and challenges, product placement in the show, social media, branded content from behind the scenes, a microsite, premier party sponsorship, even a winner's tour of Asia. And I'm happy to tell you more about it as it was a crowning moment of glory, bringing all that together in one massive successful partnership program. As a fifth option, tech brands can leverage content through airline and business TV branded content pods. This is another type of branded content option for tech brands that involves creating sponsored content videos promoting the brand, with a segment providing a storyline overview of the brand's unique story. The entire process is turnkey by the production company, and these long-form videos then air on airline partners or on business television channels that run in airports typically. Airlines include JetBlue, United Airlines, and American Airlines. We used to do these with Virgin America as well before their buyout with Alaska. Run these programming on a loop based on the plane, providing a different sort of infotainment to a very captive audience. The benefits of these segments can be scripted with guaranteed messaging. They run in rotation, so there are guarantees of viewership as well, and can even include calls to action to trigger a drive to website or purchase. As a sixth way for tech brands to leverage content partnerships, think about radio. Radio is an absolute option, as long as there is a digital overlay built in and most likely driven around talk radio with hosts who can really get behind a conversation about the brand versus just having call-outs on a music station. Although there can be some really fun music radio partnerships which include ad event concert activations or carried over to the radio programming with call-outs and sponsorships and other options to create content that's pushed out through the radio station as well. For apps, one of the fun things we've done that's gotten a lot of engagement is to craft a program where callers have to download the app in order to get access to an event that the radio station's hosting, or a comprehensive music concert series in select towns that sweepstakes are entered through by downloading the app. As a seventh option, tech brands can leverage content through podcasts. Podcasts definitely fall into the wild, wild west arena as far as a practice, as it's so new. But successful programs can be built on a cost per thousand, that's CPM, audience base that's similar to a media buy, but with really good organic conversations that are built into the episode, creating natural content takeaways. Plus, you can buy pre-roll and mid-roll ad spots that can help provide even more of an impact to the conversation going on in the podcast. As an eighth way for tech brands to leverage content, there's blogger campaigns. A blogger campaign uses influencers, but it's still thought of a little differently than that of using YouTubers or Instagrammers. Blogger campaigns are fantastic in that they provide lots of written words about your brand, and they live online for Google to find and show in search after search after search. And even when the blogger doesn't have a giant following, if someone is searching for certain keywords, that blog is going to show up. Blogging is the way most brands find Hollywood branded, if not through referrals. And we blog a lot as an agency versus depending on other bloggers to blog about us. We also do PR about our agency and love talking with reporters so that it'll help us show up in digital articles. If you don't have a comprehensive PR strategy in place, I know I mentioned it before, and if you don't blog nonstop, and I mean at least four times a week, about your brand and company, then you need to find someone else who's going to do it for you. Trust me, it works. It works really, really well. It's all about inbound marketing, plus the content that's generated can be shared across your social platforms, and it's great feedback to see what someone who really wants to write positively about your company really thinks. As a ninth way, as a ninth way for tech brands to leverage content partnerships, there are influencers. Can't forget about them. These are content-making machines of their own right, and one that most brand marketers are trying to figure out how to incorporate into their own marketing plans. 
Influencers span the gamut from YouTubers, Instagrammers, Facebookers, Twitterites, and Pinterest pinning machines. They create their content. They design the layout. They shoot their photos and videos and write something that will grab their engaged fan base's attention. Our team writes a lot about influencers, and I talk about influencers a lot in these podcasts. Uh, But in brief, as a brand marketer, you need to figure out how to work with these gals and guys, as they're here to stay for at least the next few years. And their capabilities at creating content and distributing it to their fan base are unparalleled. You just don't want to mess that partnership up. So if you have a chance, make sure you check out our recent agency report on influencer marketing at learn.hollywoodbranded.com. You can download a copy there. I've covered a lot of content partnerships options in this podcast, and no doubt you have some more questions. Make sure you've listened to my previous podcast where I spoke about how tech brands can leverage a variety of TV options as well as feature films to become embedded in the content that others are distributing in order to increase brand awareness and sales. Product placement and content marketing are fun. A lot of fun. I keep saying how much fun it is. It really is fun. And they give you some fantastic social media content to share through your social platforms, as well as great fodder for board and investor meetings. Celebrity sells. They sell movies and content in Hollywood every day, and brands have a fantastic opportunity to jump on that sales bandwagon as well. If you want to master influencer marketing and get your head around the best practices and what to avoid, our team's created an online class which offers basic, comprehensive, and advanced knowledge programs for you to learn from or for you to get for your team to learn from. Check out learn.hollywoodbranded.com to find out how you can easily up your influencer marketing game. And stop by hollywoodbranded.com for more tips. Look at our library, which has infographics, white papers, ebooks, and videos, or our blog, blog.hollywoodbranded.com, which has hundreds of helpful hints on how to make brand influencer and entertainment content partnerships a success from the get-go. That's it for this episode. I hope it was helpful, and please let me know if you have any feedback. I'll see you next week. And as always, if you need a little or a lot of help, my agency, Hollywood Branded, is here to lend a hand. If you would leave a review or any questions I can address in the future, I'd really appreciate it as your feedback helps me know my advice is valuable and interesting to you. Are you ready to make the magic of product placement, celebrity event activations, or influencer partnerships help your sales? Visit HollywoodBranded.com to gain access to free content to learn which key tactics best fit your brand. You'll find surveys, webinars, daily blogs, ebooks, and guides, all created to make sure you have access to the best possible marketing practices. Let's make that entertainment marketing magic happen for you.